Hello, I'm Chris Menard. 2020 is quickly wrapping up. I've made 127 videos so far this year. Got two more to go. I've got the one today in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you the function Network Days, which is a great function and most people should not know. But I'm also going to cover this video as if you've never used this function and you've never used Excel. So I'm going to give you some tips about putting in dates and then we'll run through the function. What it'll do, the network day function is figure out how many business days are in a month or in a year or whatever time period you want. I may want a six month time period. How many business days are there? Uh, in the last video that's coming out is next week in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to have the ultimate guide to breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. But let's go ahead and get started. So this file will be available afterwards with the answers already in it. But to get started, I want to put in every month for 2021, and I want to know how many working days there are. So here's my first tip. <clears throat> if I type in J-A-N in cell B4 and get my autofill crosshairs and pull down, great, it works. I got January through December. The issue is for the net work day function, I need a true date. I need like 1-1-2021 through January 31st, 2021. In cell B4, that is just text. If you look up here, it's Jan, Feb, March. So I need January 1, 2021. And below it, I'm going to do 2-1-2021. Select them both, autofill. So there I go. I've got the first day of every month for 2021. My second tip for you is I don't want to see them this way. I don't like the way they look. So this step is not required. It's just a cool feature. Right click inside those selected days and go to format cells. It should take me, let me move this. It should take me to the date category. Here are all the different date formats. The first cell that you select is your sample. I didn't know if you knew that or not, but it is. So if I wanted, as an example, that one right here, March-12, it changes the first cell I have to January 21. I'm actually okay with that one in this example, but let me just show you this. If you don't like any of these date formats that you have here, go to custom, get rid of whatever's in that type box. We've got month, day, and year. Month is M, day is D, year is Y. One M will give you January, meaning just one. Two M's is zero one. Three M's is Jan abbreviated. 4 M's is January spelled out, so I want 3 M's, a space. If you wanted days, you would hit the letter D for days, but I don't want days. I want the year. 3 Y's gets it, but make it official, I like 4. So M, D, and Y, and you can make your own custom formats for days. That looks good, hit OK. So. <clears throat> This is really important to remember because I'm about to do the function now. I know it says January 2021 in cell B4, but look at my formula bar right above column C. It's actually 1-1-2021, one, one, 2-1. So one more function you need to know before I do uh, network days. There's a function called end of month, EO month. January, comma, zero, meaning stay in January. That's what the zero means. That gave me what looks like a number. Just so you know this. That gave me the end of the month for January. Instead of a zero, if I did a one, I should get 2-28-2021. So I'm taking January and adding on a month. One more time, if I do the number two instead of one, I should get March. 
So there's the EO month, end of month function. So how many working days are in January? Equals net work days. There are two, if you notice that. I'm only using the one on the bottom. The one on the top assumes that your weekends are always Saturday and Sunday. The one on the bottom that I'm going to use, I'm going to show you this. I could tweak it so maybe Saturday and Sunday aren't the weekends for me. Maybe I work at a company where Friday and Saturday are the weekends or Sunday and Monday. So I'm going to use this one. <clears throat> the first argument is the start date. It's in bold. Well, that's an easy one. That's cell B4, comma, the end date. If you recall, I just showed you the EO month function. I need, I don't want to sit here and type this, by the way. So I'm going to do EO month B4. Remember, it's got two arguments. And the zero means stay in January. So that's returning to me. January 31st, 2021, and in the next cell below it, when I autofill it down, will be 228, 331, on and on. Comma, this next argument is optional, but this is the, this is the difference between this one versus the first one that was just network days. My weekends are Saturday and Sunday, and where I work, it's Saturday and Sunday. So I'm just going to, I could either do the number one, or you can just leave that empty. Here we go. What holidays are you having? I've already typed them over here in column F. That is it. One thing I need to do though, those holidays that I put in F2 down to F13 are staying constant for all the months. So I'm absolute, I'm going to make an absolute reference pressing the F4 function key. If F4 doesn't work, just type the dollar signs yourself. <clears throat> you say, Chris, you got a date. Remember, dates are numbers. Comma style. Lose the decimals. 19 working days in January. Let's see if that's true. You're saying, Chris, there's 31 days in January. I'm agreeing, but how many working days... Um, the 4th through the 8th, 5, 10, 15, 20, and the 1st is 21. Why do I have 19 instead of 21? Well, January 1 is New Year's, and January 18th is MLK Jr.'s birthday. Those are holidays. We don't work on those where I work. So that's why there are 19 networking days. Cool function. So it is working. Oh, uh, one more time, I told you I would show you this. In case it was this argument right here, in case your weekends are not Saturday and Sunday, I am making this up. Our weekends consist of Thursday and Friday. That's the 6th and the 7th. It's got the number 6 in here now. That means Thursday and Friday. So I went from 19 to 21. If you look over here, here's Thursday. Here's Friday. I'm going to quickly add these up. That's 5, 9, 13. Yeah, you get to watch me count. How exciting. 17. Uh, 17 and 5 is 22. 22 and I got 21. But look, the 18th is still a holiday, so it's still correct. I'm just pointing that out. And lose that, go back to one. Remember, one is Saturday and Sunday. So here we go. Saturday and Sunday, crosshairs, pull down. If I wanted to total these up, auto sum right up here. So for the year 2021, 215 networking days. <clears throat> one item I need to tell you about, though, all these holidays I put in here are for the, obviously for the U.S. and some are international holidays. But you would also come down here and put in vacation. So again, I'm making this up. Let's say that I was off January 25th through January 29th. 
25th through the 29th. That now goes through cell F18. I had 19. Now I've got 14. So you would come in here and you would put in every vacation day that you also have down here and probably do that before you start doing these formulas by the way you would tweak this right here at the very end and by the way just so you know this another tip you can actually just include you can include the blank cells there's there's a tip for you just go ahead and include the blank cells and then when you start putting in other stuff it will continue to work You're saying, Chris, it's not working. Well, I never filled it down again. There we go. Now it's working. All right. That's enough of this one. This video is supposed to be short. Christian is going to fuss at me. Christian edits my videos. He goes, I thought it was going to be a short video. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are going to be chapters for this video. Have a great holiday. See you in 2021, but I'll actually see you one more time next week for breakout rooms in Microsoft Teams. Thank you. Bye-bye.